Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now, have you ever wondered what power your car actually makes? I mean, I have definitely thought about it with my Z4 being such an old car, 15, 20, 16 years old now, 2004 that car is. And I've obviously wondered how much power that's lost over the years. However, I'm not standing next to my Z4, I'm standing next to my M240i. And that's because I've always wondered how much power this thing makes. There's a weird thing with BMW that they sort of underquote figures. I've got lots of friends with M140i's, I don't know if you peel with 240i's, but this B58 platform. And although BMW quote, I believe it's 340 brake horsepower from stock, often they're dynoing at around 355, 360 when they're tested, which is interesting and obviously got me thinking, I wonder what this is making. And also, I've recently had the Quicksilver exhaust added to this car, and they say that that adds potentially 16 horsepower to the car. So we should really be looking for about 356, something like that. And where am I? You, you might you might recognise it, you might not. There's no big signage where I'm standing right now, but I'm at Litchfield Motors over near Wales somewhere, I'm not quite sure. It's far away from home. And um, well, right behind me where I'm standing is where the car's gonna be going in a second to have a dyno. In this video, we are going to be looking at exactly the question that this video poses how much power does this actually make stock? And I say stock, obviously, it's had the Quicksilver exhaust on. Um, but apart from that, under the bonnet, uh, apart from an air filter and things like that, it's completely stock. So it'll be really interesting to see if it is actually closer to the 340 that is quoted, or if it is just a way higher number, which I obviously hope it is. And I won't spoil too much for you now, but I'm not just at Litchfield to have the car dynoed. I'm here to have something else pretty good done to it as well. That will be coming in the next video or an upcoming video, I'm not exactly sure, but you have to wait and see what that is. You can probably probably guess, but it's going to be awesome. I don't know, I guess I'm expecting it to just be sort of 345, 350, but you never know. So let's get it in there and find out. Look at this everyone, M240i uh, strapped onto the rollers here at Litchfield. This is really exciting, I've never had a car dynoed before. Um, and yeah, it's, it's gonna get really noisy in here, that's for sure, with those Quicksilver exhausts. But yeah, proper strap down. And I guess, yeah, I mean, it literally, it's just these rollers measure the horsepower. I mean, you know, and the car's doing whatever speed, but it's still stationary. It's obviously how a dyno works, but it's all uh, new for me. So yeah, I was just saying to Sam, off camera, of course, BMW do tend to underquote, and he says that seems to be the case. And, and this one with the Quicksilver, let's let's expect something like 350. So we'll see if there's anything less than that. Not the end of the world, but it will be interesting nonetheless. So uh, yeah, just a few minutes now, I think, and then we'll get it going and and, and see really what this is producing stock. You're gonna to have to join me behind this nice bit of glass while the uh, car is on the dyno, uh, just for safety reasons, of course. So yeah, he's just uh, getting the tyres warmed up now before the before the run. Uh, I can just about hear the car over everything else that's going on here. So um, oh yeah, look, you see the wheels moving now. Yeah. So anyway, apologies um, that it's a little bit difficult to see through the reflections, uh, but I'll try and make it look as good as possible for you. Um, but yeah, car's moving now. This is going to be really interesting.
Oh, look, guys, I hope you can uh, make that out a little bit. Can you make that out? So, stock power run done. It looks like 355 brake horsepower, which, or 356.2. I actually can't quite read the screen from here. Hopefully we can get a bit closer or get a printout or something in a minute. Um, so actually, if it is 356, that's exactly spot on. 340 stock as quoted, and then the 16 uh, quoted additional power from the Quicksilver exhaust. So if that's the case, then this video has pretty much proven nothing that actually these do make the power that they're quoted. Um, maybe I've just got a, a strange one where it's actually right on the money, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a closer look in a moment and we'll be able to then ascertain exactly what's going on here, but I'm pretty happy with that. At least it's not any lower than 350. <laughs> so yeah, awesome. Guys, you join me uh, a bit later on in the day. The modification that you're going to see in the next video has now been done. Everything is done with my car. But in this video, we just wanted to explore um, sort of the stock power and what it's sort of quoting versus what well, BMW quote. Uh, so the car is actually really nicely parked in the sunshine now out front. Um, and like I say, everything has been done to it that's going to be done. So, uh, well, this shouldn't really give anything away. But anyway, as you probably saw, uh, in the sort of dyno room or behind the dyno room did a stock run and the final figure if I can just get it here is 355 horsepower so we're looking at that top one there 355 horsepower which interestingly is I mean well a really boring boring result to be quite honest not boring but that is exactly spot on so essentially BMW quote 340 brake stock and Quicksilver quote 16 for their exhaust. So what we should have got is 356 based on that mass and we've got 355. So basically it's spot on, um, which is fine. I guess I'd be disappointed if it was anything less than uh, exactly what was quoted. But there we go, 355 horsepower. The other thing to mention, which um, one of the employees here explained to me kindly, is that they actually use exactly the same dyno that uh, BMW use. So that's probably another reason why lots of maybe other companies, other dyno people, dyno people, um, might get different results because actually their dynos aren't calibrated the same or whatever. So actually, it's now I know that, not much of a surprise that the figures we've got are the figures we've got being so close to the stock quotation. Anyway, that's really interesting. You're gonna have to stay tuned. Um, oh, there's a bit of a cue there, bit of a bit of a clue to what I've done. I think I've just given it away completely. You'll have to stay tuned to the video, to the video, to the channel uh, for the next video to see uh, what else I've, I've had done here at Litchfield, although I don't think it would take much of a genius to work out. Do please subscribe to the channel and stick around for that because it's going to be mega. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this one and I will see you very, very soon.